Welcome back to Crypto Tutorial. On today's video, I would like to discuss XRP's price action and how it's currently performing and how it will be performing during the upcoming days and weeks. But before doing so, I would highly appreciate if you could follow me down below on Twitter at Thorough Crypto, where you will be kept up to date about all upcoming videos. And as well, I will be tweeting about opportunities in the cryptocurrency space. Right now, I would like to get started on the XRP compared to Bitcoin chart. Yes, for sure, right now we have been clearly in a downtrend. As you could see, this descending resistance was actually a level of resistance multiple times. You could see that we had several touch points before we were able to break out above it. And right now, I personally think that we are going to head towards a retest or as well a confirmation of this trend reversal by actually heading towards the downside, towards a retest of this downward sloping resistance, finding support on top of it, and eventually seeing a spike from this point on, continuing with the movement towards the upside. So this being said, right now, I'm personally waiting for this retest over here and afterwards a increase in the strength compared to bitcoin and at that point in time i will be actually entering my trades once again i waited for quite a while due to the fact that the market was quite volatile we saw a lot of movement and action during the past couple of days and i thought the patterns were not there to be actually trading that long term long position or short position either way due to the fact we saw that major flash crash occur and ever since then we have been dropping so right now i think personally that it is very likely that we are going to see a retest of the 0 0.386 compared to bitcoin and afterwards a movement towards the upside getting started this being said i would like to head towards the daily time frame where i will be removing this level of descending resistance and right now i would like to enable as well the moving average so on the moving averages we can clearly see that we are in between the 100 day and the 200 day moving average and what i think is of utmost importance is that if we head towards a retest of the 0 0.236 level we will actually see as well perhaps once again a retest of the 200 day moving average and what i think is of utmost importance is that if we stay on top of the 200 day moving average we are for sure still in a confirmed trend towards the upside and i think personally if you enter a trade position on the 200 day moving average and we are able to actually stay on top of it find support above it and see a major increase you will be actually entering the perfect long trade position and you could perhaps hold it all the way towards new ultimates created on xrp and that is for me something very important this being said i would like to head towards the macd and on the macd i must say that the daily macd is actually looking rather good due to the fact that we are losing strength on the daily and you can clearly see that this will perhaps head towards a crossover therefore it is very likely that once we see a crossover occur we might see exponential growth on the macd and as well momentum towards the upside getting created and exactly that momentum is what i'm personally waiting for unfortunately on the four hourly time frame you can clearly see that we saw a crossover towards the downside so during the upcoming hours i think personally that it is very likely that we are going further towards the downside but what is of utmost importance at this point in time is to actually be able to stay on top of the 0 0.236 level. Otherwise, if we break out below it, we might perhaps see a major decline in strength compared to Bitcoin. And that is not something I would like to see. Of course, if we see just a minor drop underneath the 0 0.236, it's still fine if we are able to close the daily candle on top of it. But if we are not able to do so and we close even further down below, I think we might start seeing a further decline occur. So this is for me something very important and for sure for the people who are watching this video, they would like to keep up to date as well. On the daily time frame, I would like to discuss lastly as well the RSI. On the RSI, I would like to take a look at if we are spotting any type of bullish or bearish aversions and what the current trend is on the RSI. So clearly you can see that on the RSI, we are seeing a major downtrend and we have not been able to break out above it. We have seen three touch points already on this downward sloping resistance and therefore it is very good if we would be able to see a breakout above it and seeing an increase in XRP's strength compared to Bitcoin. Of course, we are not spotting any type of bullish or bearish divergence. You can clearly see that we are creating a lower high 
as well a lower high on the RSI and we are not creating any type of bullish divergence because we are not seeing any type of lower low higher low structure therefore the RSI is looking healthy to me and what I think is important is that on the daily time frame you can clearly see that we are still a way to go towards the downside before we head towards the over sold area but this means that we perhaps would see a trend reversal occur at this point in time heading towards the upside and starting an increase once again therefore i am actually not really concerned about this the only thing i am thinking about right now is if we are going to be able to hold strong on top of this level of support at this point in time let's head towards the xrp compared to usd chart on the xrp compared to usd chart on the daily time frame i would like to enable the moving averages and you can clearly see that something very important to cure and that is that we are getting supported by the 200 day moving average also on this chart and therefore i am very glad that we had these levels underneath us after the previous breakout towards the upside trading above those levels of support and right now clearly finding support on top of all three moving averages so right now you can see that the 100 day moving average is actually serving as support if we zoom in a little bit closer towards the daily candle you can see that we are right on top of the 100 day moving average and for sure if we are going to head towards a decline in extra piece price action the 200 day moving average will be underneath this helping as a major level of support this being said i would like to enable the macd on the macd you can see that on the daily time frame we are clearly seeing the strength declining therefore i think it might be possible that we are going to experience a crossover of momentum towards the upside on the daily macd if we see a major uptrend getting started or a major increase in XRP's price action so we could see this occur on the daily MACD. This being said I would like to head towards the 4 hourly time frame. On the 4 hourly time frame I would like to zoom out a little bit more and what I would like to do as well is to take a look at the MACD. On the MACD you can clearly see that we are heading towards perhaps a crossover of downward momentum. I think this is not something we have to be concerned about due to the fact that we have I've already seen this crossover occur on the XRP compared to Bitcoin chart and it would be very healthy if we saw this as well occur on the XRP compared to USD chart and actually seeing a retest of the 0 0.618 level would be actually a great opportunity to start a short position but as I said previously what I'm currently waiting for is to actually see that 0 0.618 or that 0 0.236 level getting reached on the bitcoin chart and at that point actually entering a long trade position so therefore i am right now waiting to enter a trade either towards the up or towards the downside unfortunately today it's friday so we could perhaps see major market manipulation during the weekend that is something you have to consider but right now i think it is very likely that we are seeing this stronghold on top of the 0 0.5 fibonacci and that we could perhaps see a decline once we see the macd crossing over on the four hourly time frame and that could be a sign that we are going towards the 0 0.618 this being said i would like to enable as well the rsi and the money flow index on the money flow index i would like to start by telling you that we are heading towards that overbought area a lot of people were purchasing xrp you can clearly see that on the chart and what i think is of utmost importance over here is that once we head towards the upside above the 80 level on the money flow index that is the dotted line on the upper part of the money flow we could perhaps see a trend reversal getting started that is exactly what might occur right now and therefore i think it is very likely that we are going to see a retest of this zone at the 0 0.618 and that would be for me personally a perfect entry for a long trade position for the major long term so this being said i would like to enable as well the rsi and on the rsi we are clearly seeing that we are in an uptrend we are seeing the rsi right on top of this 50 percent line on the rsi therefore once we trade above this line it is clearly showing us that the market is an overall gaining strength and increasing in price and that is something i would like to see for sure perhaps we're going to see a minor dip before heading even further due to the fact that we are going to perhaps see a retest of the 0 0.618 and heading afterwards further towards the upside but right now it is looking absolutely marvelous and we are not spotting any type of bullish 
neither bearish divergences so that is something i am really glad about as well i would like to discuss actually these levels of support and resistance why i think it is very likely that we are going to reach as the 0.618 level it's not only due to the fact that we previously traded in between those levels but it is because we had a major price action in between these two levels and i think this is very possible to occur and it would still be a healthy setback due to the fact that we saw previously a lot of support at this area and i think that is something you can for sure expect right now once again if we see a breakdown occur once more towards the 0 0.618 personally i'm waiting as i said previously but for sure once we head towards this level i will be entering a long trade position and for the people who are interested in trading this together with me do not forget to head down below towards the description section where you will be able to join bybit or famex and earn up to 1610 dollars deposit bonus by just using the link down below and you will be also supporting the channel by doing so so thank you very much already lastly i would like to discuss as well how the current trend looks like and what i think is important about this overall market structure so you can clearly see that we have been created that lower high structure we have created clearly lower highs and right now i would like to actually draw this trend line for sure you could say you can draw it like this i've done this previously during the channel and then we would be seeing a confirmed break out above it what i think is actually very important right now is that we uh, this trend line was not confirmed yet due, due to the fact that we only saw two touch points in the past and we would like to see actually three touch points before a trend line is confirmed therefore i think this downward sloping or descending resistance is actually not the type of trend line we are right now looking at due to the fact that we were not rejected at that point in time heading towards the 0.618 immediately and actually making a third touch point what i think right now is actually our most critical level to start a trend reversal is actually being able to break out above the 0.382 to the golden pocket entry level where we traded for quite a while on top of before seeing this breakdown towards the 0 0.618 perhaps right now we do not have that major strength and therefore i think it is very unlikely that we are going to retest the 0 0.382 and find support on top of it but i think it would be even better if we created a type of w structure and afterwards a breakout towards the upside being able to head towards the 0 0.236 and eventually finding support on top of the 0 0.382 level so a w structure for me is clearly something i am personally not scared about that this will occur and i think it would be actually very healthy for the overall market if we would see this market structure occur on xrp and eventually seeing a breakout above this level heading towards a clear trend reversal and that would be breaking out above the 0 0.382 so for the people who are actually still a little bit careful right now on the cryptocurrency market i totally agree and understand that we are right now in a quite volatile position but once we see a breakout occur above the 0 0.382 on xrp you do have to reconsider your thoughts due to the fact that i think we will be heading towards new item highs afterwards and you do not want to miss out on this trend so thank you very much people for watching the video i really hope you enjoyed and actually have a nice day bye bye